What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful vintage cube draft. The cube was extended for another 24 hours because of some downtime yesterday. So everybody wins. We got an extra day because Magic Online was down for like three hours. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty much okay with it. So just waiting for this eighth person to pop in, to pop into the cube. Just, just hop on in. I'm wondering... And like you could, as you can see, we've been here for two minutes. I, I'm wondering if it's slower to fire because people don't know that it's still up. But either way, we're going to take a Mox Emerald. If you put power in the pack, I'm going to take the power. And it's a Mox. So, I mean, you know, we had a good time with Dream Halls and Cruel Ultimatum yesterday where we got to keep casting it thanks to Eternal Witness and Time Spiral and Sail into the West. So that was cool. And if the Inspired Ultimatum comes back, I might be tempted to do it again. Uh, it might be foolish. I'm not sure. But we'll see. So the cube comes down at 3 p.m. tomorrow. I'm wondering what time zone that is. It might be 3 p.m. my time zone. But if it's 3 p.m. Pacific, because they're in Seattle... I wonder if that makes 4 p.m. is actually great for me. I could just wake up a little earlier. And... So through the breach, Bowmasters, Talisman of Impulse. I mean, I think the most impactful cards are Bowmasters and Through the Breach. I don't like black green, though. I think I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take Breachy Boy. Because it's just, it's the, like, like there's not much in this pack that's really impactful. Oh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker seems great. So does Fractured Identity. Fractured Identity would put us into technically three colors with a Mox Emerald. I think we just take Fable. I think Fable's very, very good. It also helps us find things for Through the Breach. Oh, Goldspan Dragon's fantastic. Um, let's take a Goldie. All right. So we're the red, the red's pretty good. Is this the place we send out unlimited swamps? Yes. Yes. If you want to send me any of your unlimited swamps, please feel free to do so. If you haven't done so, you can check out the latest from the unlimited swamp saga on my Facebook page. I received four more today. So seven in total. Very strange. Gristle brand, very good with through the breach. You deal seven, draw seven. <clears throat> yep, we're def definitely taking a gristle brand. We could also just be black, red, reanimate as well. There's also a Dak Faden, but I think Gristle Brand works well with the cards we have. And if the Dak comes back, we'll definitely take it and we'll just be Grixis with a Mox Emerald. So you know, like you do. Hmm. Who hasn't been there, you know? <sighs> years and years. I just got, I just listened to uh, The Man Who Sold the World by Nirvana by David Bowie. Him to Torok. Toxic Deluge. Two Mardu lands. I played a draft with Seething Song once. And I went Seething Song into Goblin Dark Dwellers, target the Seething Song, cast through the Breach, and put an Emrakul into play. It was very satisfying. That being said, I'm pretty sure we're just taking him to Torok here. I'm going to put the Mox over here. We're definitely playing it, but whether it becomes a central part of this mana base is yet to be determined. Hmm. Hell Rider, huh? Creepin' Tar Pit. We got a Cruel Ultimatum. I do love a Cruel Ultimatum. Absolutely love it. Just love it. 
Do we take Cruel Ultimatum in the hopes that we can discard it and recast it with a Mizzix Mastery? Is that worth hedging over a Baleful Mastery? The answer is maybe, and we also have Goldspan Dragon. I love Cruel Ultimatum, man. It's one of my favorite cards. Oh, uh, Graveyard Trespasser is a dude. Scrubland, not so much of a dude. Yeah, I'll take Trespasser. I think Trespasser is a fine body. I never passed a Cruel Smith in my life. I have, but only because I knew it would table. And then it tabled. Oh, Inspired Ultimatum. That's interesting. Now I'm fascinated. Now you have my attention. I mean, Thundermaw's fine. Ember, these are both playable, but I think I'm... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is it, though? Yes, for me it is. Um... No, we're just going to take Shieldbreaker. <laughs> At least Cruel is two of our colors. Um, Talisman of Impulse is fine. It's one of our two colors. Plus, we still have a Mox Emerald, which, which makes any green splash decent. I like it over Pentad Prism. Oh, Croxa? All right, I'll take a Croxa. Kumano. Um, Jetmir's Garden is fine. Sure, none of these. This is a fine black-red start. Oh, the Seething Song came back. That's fascinating. I mean, Seething Song's not nothing. Turn two Seething Song into Through the Breach is definitely a thing that we could do. Or, I mean, Goldspan Dragon on turn three. Like, as far as rituals go, I think Seething Song is definitely one of the better ones as it nets you two. It's just a dark ritual that costs you two more but nets you two more. Like, you can only play it on three. Hmm. Fascinating. It's really sad when the most impactful card in the pack is like Coalition Relic. No Eldrazi, no power, no solid. Uh, this isn't really a cube that's built around doubling season. The Live the Dream cube, however, is definitely a live the as a doubling season focused cube. Yeah, I think we're just taking the Relic here. Again, it's fine with Cruel Ultimatum or any sort of green cards that we want to cast. <sighs> it's not the best. I do like a Chandra, though. And the, in lieu of anything, we're going to throw the Breach here or, or re any, any sort of reanimation. I think Chandra's pretty good. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is this is just a Chandra for sure. Um, Talisman of Resistance, similar to Impulse. It helps with the green. I don't think that's going to be a thing we care about. Scrapwork Mud actually might be the pick here. Being able to discard something and like Gristlebrand if we're reanimating. Or to just get like a Cruel Ultimatum in the graveyard if we get like Mystic's Mastery. Or Phyrexian Metamorph. I like Metamorph as well. Yeah, I think Metamorph's got to be better than Mutt, and maybe the Mutt comes back. The Mutt. Well, not every Planeswalker. And, like, then you have a Planeswalker like this that has no ultimate, so. And this guy has no ultimate. Um, I feel like it's just Corpse Stands here. Like, we do have Gristlebrand. Do we have any way to discard, really? Not yet. Fable. We have Fable. I think it's better than Bone Crusher here in terms of what we're trying to do. Or there's a Sundering Titan. I think we're going to go with Life Death. This is not one of my favorite creatures to reanimate because as soon as you get like a, a Tri Land or an off color Dual Land, then you're starting to kill your own things. I do like. Life Death is a reanimate spell. I also like Atraxa. We will definitely take an Atraxa. 
So that's pretty good. Got an angel and a demon. You're over here. Deceiver Exarch, huh? Well, don't like that. Definitely not trying to play any blue cards here other than a Chrome Ultimatum. We're going to take Psalm Simulacrum, I guess. I don't think it's Grim Lava Mancer. Yeah, that guy's fine. We have a Blurry Oh, Fallen Shinobi. See, remember that thing I said about not playing any blue cards? Maybe I lied. Good lord. You could also throw the breach of Fallen Shinobi and just get <laughs> two free hits. Oh, man. It's got to be Glory Bringer, though, right? That guy's just good. It doesn't mess up our mana base. Oh, we have no Grixis lands whatsoever, and we have a Mox Emerald. I'm going to take Glory Bringer. God, I hate doing it. We also don't really have great avenues for, <clears throat> for ninjutsuing that guy into play. Mana Morphos could be interesting for double blue here. I'll take it and add it to the Krill Ultimatum pile. I'll take a Dark Slick Shores. Hmm. Hmm. Another Talisman. Uh, it's the only really, it's the only real option here. Double Talisman for black and red. Both helping with green, just like Mox Emerald. Yet blue is the card we want to splash. I don't know if we're still going to splash that. I guess we'll take a Burgie. Could take Terra Sunder, actually. Terra Sunder's pretty decent, and we have the green for it. I don't think we really care about Burgie at all, so... Yeah, the thing is, if you flip Burgie for Horn, you don't really get the... Um, oh, wow, that's a 14th pick Rufellos, huh? <sighs> God. Um, with the Horn, like, if we're trying to find creatures to through the Breach, you'll never get to because they exile the cards. You don't, They don't go to your hand, so you can't really add them to the through the Breach, through the Breachedness. Okay. Okay. Still no power. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, we've got a Mox, but it's an off-color Mox, so I'm not super excited about it. But it's still a Mox. We'll take Shielder. It's pretty easy. Uh, I don't think we've drafted... We've drafted those cards. We have not assembled them yet. Nor have we had anything to do with the assembled. I think the biggest problem is that there's just not a ton to do with infinite mana in the cube. Yeah, we're definitely taking Shielder here. That's a Jace the Mind Sculptor. I don't know if you've heard, but that guy is better than all. I like Animate Dead. I like Graven Cairns because we have no fixing yet. I think I like Animate Dead a little bit better than, than the other one. Oh, Liliana is a great discard outlet. Phenomenal. Recurring Nightmare, but we don't have a Recurring Nightmare base here. So, there is an Entomb. Is Liliana just better than Entomb here? It's very possible. I think the answer is yes. I think Liliana just ends up being like a better top deck. Wow, blue and green. Should we splash the Oko? Also Dream Halls, that would have been fun. Atali is a great through the breach and reanimate target. I would like this Dark Cl Cliff Cleave Cliffs, but I think I just want to take the Atali here. I'm also not sure if I'm playing Talismans here. We have Coalition Relic and... Yeah, I'm going to take the Atali because we do have Seething Song. 
that might have been a mistake. Bitter Bitter Reunion is great. This is actually a great addition Thank as well. Stormrix with a gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you. Uh, Ugin is great. Can't reanimate it or through the breach it. Kiki Jiki is fascinating. Don't care about Evolve Sleeper. Putrid Imp is fine, but we just picked up a Bitter Reunion and a Liliana, so I'm not sure we need a Putrid Imp. I'm going to take Kiki. We'll see how that goes. Oh, Talisman of Indulgence. Indulgence I will play. <laughs> That's fantastic. Getting an on-color Talisman is really satisfying. Um, Infernal Grass, Faithless Looting. I'm usually not a big fan of Faithless Looting for its uh, card disadvantage properties. I think I'm just going to take Noxious Gear Hulk here. I don't love it, but the life gain is probably fine. Uh, I'm not sure if Rankle is still bugged. Wow, Stoneforge came back? Cryptic Command? Elder Gargaroth? This pack is actually still has some solid, solid playables in here. I'm just going to take Stoneforge. No one else should. Oh, Graven Cairns came back. Fantastic. Also, Teferi, and this is a late volcanic island. Good lord. What are you people doing? A Liliana and the Recurring Nightmare came back. Man, if we had like Ophiomancer or Bitter Blossom, I'd definitely consider Recurring Nightmare a little more than I am right now. I think it's still the pick. I think this Liliana is probably better. Oh, the Dream Halls came back. Jeez. Man, we could have had so much here. I'm gonna take out I'm gonna take out Embreath's Shieldbreaker. And we're also going to take out probably Last Hope Liliana. Mm, I'm not super excited about any of these. I'll just take Concealing Courtyard. Is that what it is? Concealing Courtyard? Concealing Curtains. I think this looks fine. As our 23. There's nothing in the sideboard that I'm super... I might like Ember Shieldbreaker just to have. I don't know if it's better than anything else that's in here. Only one fixing land. That might be okay. We have Talisman, we have Coalition Relic, and we don't have a ton of double red here. The earliest double red is turn four and five. So this, this, no, 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 yes, yes, this is 7, 14, 15, 16, and we'll do one more black. I believe we have more black. Oh, we're pretty much dead even. But we need double black for him, double black for Liliana, double black for Shieldred. Oh, plus this guy. This is a black card, so... Yeah, alright. I can see one additional black. This should be 16 lands and a Mox Emerald. I don't know how this deck is going to go. I feel like it's lacking some... Some core components. But we do have Animate Dead, Life Death, and Corpse Dance, plus Liliana, Bitter Reunion, and Fable to discard any of these three, but... These three can actually be cast. If we activate a Coalition Relic for for a charge counter, then we can get a white and a blue out of it, and then we can use the Mox for the for the red for the green. So it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. I'm gonna keep this because if we hit a red, 
we actually have a pretty reasonable, like a turn four, maybe a turn four Atali, if we can hit something else. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Easy discard Gristlebrand here. And then if we draw any any of the other components that we really want to. Okay, well, that's fascinating. Oh my goodness, that could be very strangely good if we hit a red source this turn. That's kind of like a red source. Wow. Um, that means this costs two and still provides five. So we'd actually be able to make five, pay one for six, and then we'd have a tally. This costs two, then the lily costs two. Yeah, that's pretty good. Blightsteel Colossus. Fascinating. <coughs> well. We definitely have an Atali next turn. So that's pretty fascinating. <sighs> Mystic Forge. I was going to say Foundry, and then I had to transition it to Forge, so it went Forge. They exiled this... Hmm. Fascinating. Oh, a, a second coalition relic and a Croxa. So we get their last card. That's pretty cool. Oh, a Golos. And now we can actually play Simulacrum as well. Yes. This guy. I mean, if we make them sack, they're just going to turn... This makes... This makes Thopters, so then they sacrifice their Thopters to make four fours. I guess that's fine. We have an Atali. So they're going to make two, two Thopters. We could also just pump Liliana here. Yeah, let's just pump Liliana. Neither of us have cards in hand. What does this guy cost? Nine? Four, five, six, seven. Like, we didn't want that Founder Inspector. <clears throat> okay. Drill Planes. Seems good. You got an artifact on top? Does not seem like it. Also, they didn't pump Hangerback Walker at the end of their turn. They have no cards in hand. They can only cast artifacts off the top. I knew I was going to draw Traxa. That's really kind of funny. Four, five, six, seven. So next turn we can actually make four different... We, we're, we're one color away from just casting a Traxa here. So that's kind of interesting.
Mm, take it seven, eh? Um, I don't want to discard because that's only us. I don't want to make them sacrifice because they could just make a guy and sacrifice that. But maybe that's uh, it's just not worth the five. Plussing is awkward because, well, we'd have to plus and lose a track. So when we can just cast it next turn, we'll just wait. We have two coalition relics. They don't have a ton of mana, which is great. So they can't like make multiple guys a turn. They can pay two to tap to, to make a guy and then three to untap it, but then that's it. Yep, see, that's fine. Okay, well, that's half the puzzle. And they overpaid because they forgot about their own Helm of Awakening, so that's good. <laughs> it's not ideal, but... Alright, no cards in hand, so we can go Charge Counter. Charge Counter. And Atrax is going to cost like two mana here. That's fantastic. Oh, and there's a Mox Emerald too. That's great. So we can go white, blue, I can go three, and this costs black, one, two. I told you we were going to do it. It does help when you get your opponent's coalition relic as well. All right. Artifact, we have one, we'll take metamorph. Land, we'll take mountain. Uh, creature, we can only get gold span. Okay. Chandra, enchantment, <laughs> and instant and sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get the full seven, dude? Holy shit! <laughs> what a grip, dude. What a grip. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good, all right. One, two, three. And everything costs one less? Oh, dear Jesus. Well, that's pretty good. So maybe, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five mana. Chandra costs three. So we can actually go one, two, three, Chandra. Kill Urza. Because we don't need your shenanigans. Oh, we just win the game. Okay, that'll do. All right, I guess the I guess drawing seven was was all they needed to see. Wow, what a what an Atraxa hit. Holy smokes. Sure, we can only get gold span. Okay. Chandra. Enchantment. And instant and I think I actually clipped it. So that's cool. I have a button, I, I put a button on the stream deck that actually clips things. It, it, When I press it, it records the last 30 seconds and clips it. So that's pretty cool. And, yeah, and they both have lifelink too, so that's cool. Um, Liliana actually might be great here. They might not have a ton of answers, and also it kills a lot of their X ones. Destroy another creature. I think I'm just going to go 41 here. I don't even... You know what? I don't even care. Sometimes my decision paralysis takes over and I'm like, ah, I don't want to decide what to cut. We will mulligan this hand, though. One land is not going to get it done. This will do. Let's keep it. We have Animate Dead and Death. Animate Dead gets on any creature, right? Yeah. So we'll ship that. They went to six as well, so that's good. Everybody's going to six. 
Swampers. Oh, it's your boy. Going to six is the new keeping set. Oh, they missed the land drop. All right, well, we're doing well for ourselves. Oh, this is what we're doing. You ready for this? This is exactly what we wanted. Oh, gets in there. Makes a treasure. Oh, that's great. So next turn we can just cast a Tali. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, snap. Yep, that's not going to do it. Oh, and a Mox Emerald, too? I think we could have actually metamorphed the uh, dragon, made another treasure, attacked, and then we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could have. Oh, that would have been that would have been disgusting. I just got so excited, though, you know. I just could not, in fact, hide it. Who's that sub? Leovold to the gifted sub. Oh man, <clears throat> what a saint. Um, so we're gonna go red, red. Red, red. One, two, one, two, three. Your boy. Get a Mox Pearl and a Bitter Reunion. Um, done. Do I want to discard any of these? Maybe Shieldred. <sighs> yeah, because we can just reanimate a Shieldred. Oh, and we get an Atraxa. That's pretty cool. Um, can we do anything else this turn? No, I guess not. We should have kept a black up because then we could have reanimated, but you know what? I think we're doing fine. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of that. All right. Well, they saw enough. Man, Seething Song doing great in both those games. Turns out free mana. It's pretty good. Y'all ever heard of free mana? Three for five. It's the way to be, you know what I mean? Is free mana like free real estate? I think it's better. <sighs> you know, free mana is like a lot of things, really. Ah, well, boy, that was around all right. And now we are in it to win it. Yeah, we'll keep this. On the play, no less, you know? Oh, that's fascinating. Is that better than Talisman? Probably with Corpse Dance. I would say. What are we pitching? Probably a mountain. Oh, I guess it's not. We don't have the we don't have the card to discard, so corpse stance isn't super relevant with that. Um yeah. do we want to hope to draw? I guess it's talisman and we just play coalition relic next turn. Okay. Beautiful. Oh. Well, that does change things, doesn't it? Cacaw. Sometimes you just set up to perfectly take advantage of a, of a seething song. Okay. 
I came in to play tapped. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, we get another land too and another treasure. Yes, sir. Let's get another swamper. This is almost just Gristlebrand hardcast mana. And it will be next turn. Let's get a little rally with it. So we get to hardcast Gristlebrand next turn and also uh, give it haste. That's fascinating. I hope they tap out for something silly. That's not silly. That is silly. Now they're going to bounce my relic. Ugh. You're so rude. I mean, we still just cast Gristlebrand, right? <clears throat> A long, long time ago. Who knows? Might be never lost control. Wish I had another red source. That'd be great. Unfortunately, we do not. So we got a pitch. Probably a red and a black. I think having seven mana on board is fine. Coalition Relic can also go. Now we just got a grip of beauty. Could have kept those if we just activated on their turn, but I wanted to see what we draw. That's fine. You got it. Beautiful. Come on, Atraxa. Metamorph. What do you do? Hmm. Fascinating. We have no creatures in our graveyard. Buddy, we got a creature. It's a Frexy Metamorph. It's right there. Soul Herder. It's pretty good with a Wall of Omens. Although I can kill it now. The Soul Herder. Oh, yeah, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your beautiful baby. Um, probably, yes. I think we can pitch life, death, and maybe a Tali so we can animate dead him. Oh, him to Torok seems good. Okay. They didn't counter this, which I imagine if they had a counter, they would have. Animate dead. Ya boy. Okay. Animate dead. Ya boy. 
Okay, he come back. Uh, what do we get here? Where's the... Oh my god. <laughs> the stupid Teferi. Oh god. I, I, fell, I fell victim to my own... Hoisted by my own petard. So we're gonna kill the soul herder, because that guy's obnoxious. We still get an Italian. There's none really. There's no real great way to to get rid of the Teferi so that, that that's not an issue. Well, they let us create a treasure token instead of parallax waving it, so that's pretty good. Oh, wow. They just let Teferi go. That's pretty cool. That surprises me. I'm surprised. Man, I wish Croxa wasn't over here now, because we could easily, easily escape it. <clears throat> I still think we're doing okay. Fractured Identity. That is unfortunate, but we have a Phyrexian Metamorph. So we can get it. We can get our own Atali back. What are you hitting? You hit Elite Spellbinder and Solemn Simulacrum. All right. I mean, that's good, but not... Not backbreaking for us. Yeah, obviously the Metamorph. So now we get another shot at an Atali. This is a this is a game right here, man. Sure. So let's play you, take two, one, two, three, four, five, unfortunately, very expensive. Copy our own Atali. Let's do it again. Andoral and Shieldred, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, cast both of them, done. Yep, you got your little tax, I'll pay it. What can Corpse Dance hit? Absolutely nothing. There are just no creatures in there whatsoever. No, not me. Atali's problematic. Um... Fascinating. So I'm actually tempted to attack because it that doesn't do anything. Um I guess we just exile here. Oh, cool. Free mocks, I guess. <clears throat> Is that good? Who knows? Hmm. Two, three, four, five. I guess we're just passing here. Doesn't feel great, but I kind of want to keep blockers up for this parallax wave. I think we might be dead here. Yes, three. Two of my creatures are legendary. Not all of them, but... <laughs> oh, fantastic.
fantastic. Fantastic. Must be nice. Let's bring in Liliana and concealing curtains. Take out Noxious. Actually, P and Karen Alarm might be decent too. Shieldbreaker could be good too. So now we're just bringing in a bunch of stuff. We'll take out Corpse Dance. Um, maybe take out Relic too. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, punished, I guess. Yeah, sure. Talisman would be good here. Nice. Every game. <laughs> Alright. Well, we get a three drop at least. Fascinating. Give me a red source, please. That is not a red source. As you can imagine. So the only thing we can cast here is Metamorph. We can copy Endural here. That's kind of cool. So if they equip and we block, our guy dies, and then they still have future guys to equip to, which is kind of rough. So we're just going to attack here. If they want to, if they want to spend their turn equipping, that's fine because we can then we can just equip back, and then we're just going to have the Andoral versus Andoral races. Yep. We can also, if we hit a red, we can play Chandra and use the two to equip. This feels rough, though. If they have a reprieve, it's really bad. Um, it's not feel like they do. All right, that's interesting. Oh, cool. They just have a path to exile. Wonderful. Never fucking fails. <laughs> it's just like constant. Oh, God. <sighs> Good times. So I have to assume you'll be attacking five at Chandra. Five, six, this is nine. It's pretty good. Yep. Seething Song off the top. No idea how we win this. This is actually really bad. Yep, cool. All right. Round three. All right. Round three. 
I actually think we were in a reasonable position that last game if they just don't draw wins of abandon. Because they literally just have to give us a gristle brand at some point, but they never do. All right, so Bitter Reunion can probably get us a third land. You easily discard Solemn Simulacrum, I think. Oh, another white deck, eh? Beautiful. So if they don't play anything, we're probably going to Liliana. If they do, we might just Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, well. Boy, that sure is fascinating, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> well. Do we just... I think we still have to do the thing. They're going to sack a giver of runes. Sure. I'm tapped out, but whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> I guess I could have, like, Mox Ruby Burst Lightning, but then I just would have had that. I would have had that at the ready. Yep. I think we're just dead to this Hex Drinker. Oh, boy. <laughs> just like, that was just real life, man. Of course, we don't have fourth land. So they're at four. If they hit a land, they just get a 6-6. Six, six. I guess Trespasser is not terrible here because we get to eat their guy and gain a life. I mean, Fable might just be better. It's probably better to play Fable and get the get the ball rolling. All right, well, we're in combat, and they didn't they didn't make it an 8-8. Eight, eight, a 6-6 six, six with eight levels. So many levels. Oh, boy. What's the... What's, you're, you're attacking, right? There's... Dude, you're not not attacking. Just turn them sideways, man. They lost the connection. Okay, that's what I was like. What's going on here? Now, now it all makes sense. Now it's all coming together. Our beverage of choice is called water. I, uh, I'm not sure if you've, if you're familiar with the, uh, with with that one. I got nothing there. I'm sorry. Shut up and take my money. Your dad. Are you winning, son? <laughs> oh man. I am, Pa. Well, I, I I'm I'm breaking even, Pa.
Maybe they don't come back. Maybe they're just gone forever. And that's the draft. And that's the end. All right, well, we've been chatting while the video is paused. And it is now eight minutes later. And our, I'm not sure our opponent is coming back. So this might be the most anticlimactic ending to a draft. But the first game was good. Second game was rough. Third game was non-existent. So I'll still post it. You guys can watch it. And there you go. 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, on YouTube, on Pay-Per-View, on HBO, Cinemax, FX, Cartoon Network, anywhere magic is sold. I'll see you next time.